Step into the world of notorious criminals with this collection of vintage photos in color featuring some of the most deadly figures in history. From serial killers to mob bosses, these pictures offer a unique glimpse into their lives and personalities. See them as you've never seen them before in these 40 vintage photos in color of the world's most deadly criminals. Let's dive in and find out about them. H. H. Holmes was an American serial killer who operated during the late 19th century. He is known for constructing a murder castle in Chicago where he killed an estimated 27 people. He was eventually captured, convicted, and executed in 1896. Harold Shipman was a British physician and serial killer believed to have killed over 200 patients between 1975 and 1998. He was arrested and sentenced to life imprisonment in 2000. He committed suicide in prison in 2004. Michael Swango was an American physician and serial killer known for poisoning his patients and colleagues. He was convicted of several murders and sentenced to life imprisonment. He killed as many as 60 people. Clara Randall was a notorious outlaw in the American Old West. She was known for her involvement in train robberies and was the only woman to rob a stagecoach. She was eventually caught and served a prison sentence before dying of tuberculosis. Patty Hearst is an American socialite kidnapped by a left-wing group known as the Symbionese Liberation Army in 1974. She was later brainwashed and participated in several bank robberies with the group before being arrested and sentenced to prison. Jeffrey MacDonald is a former American physician and Green Beret convicted in 1979 of murdering his pregnant wife and two daughters in 1970. He maintains his innocence and his case has been the subject of ongoing controversy and debate. Gary Ridgway, also known as the Green River Killer, was an American serial killer believed to have murdered at least 49 women in Washington state during the 1980s and 1990s. He was eventually caught, convicted, and sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. Laura Bell Devlin was an American woman who gained notoriety in the early 1900s for murdering and dismembering her husband with a hacksaw. She was eventually caught and sentenced to life imprisonment in 1907, where she died of tuberculosis in 1912. Robert Hansen was an American serial killer who abducted, raped, and murdered at least 17 women in Alaska between 1971 and 1983. He targeted prostitutes and strippers and would often take them to remote areas where he would hunt them like animals. Slobodan Milosevic was a Serbian politician who served as the president of Serbia and later the president of Yugoslavia. He was accused of war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide during the Yugoslav Wars, and was eventually arrested and tried at the International Criminal Tribunal. Lee Harvey Oswald was an American Marxist and former U.S. Marine who assassinated President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963. He got killed by a nightclub owner two days later, Jack Ruby, while in police custody, leading to ongoing speculation and conspiracy theories surrounding the assassination. The picture depicts Bonnie Parker. She was part of an American criminal duo, Bonnie Clyde, who gained notoriety during the Great Depression for their bank robberies and murders across several states in the 1930s. Bell Gunness was a Norwegian-American serial killer believed to have murdered at least 14 people, including her two husbands and several suitors. She is infamous for her murder farm in Indiana, where she disposed of her victims' bodies. John Wilkes Booth was an American actor who assassinated President Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. on April 14, 1865. He got killed by Union soldiers 12 days later while in hiding. Anders Breivik is a Norwegian far-right extremist who killed 77 people in a bombing and shooting rampage in Oslo and on the island of Utoya in 2011. He was convicted of terrorism and mass murder and is serving a 21-year sentence. Adam Lanza was an American mass murderer who killed 26 people, including 20 children at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut, in 2012. He then killed himself as police closed in. Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold were American high school students who committed the Columbian High School Massacre in 1999, killing 13 people and injuring 21 others before taking their own lives. The shooting sparked a national debate about gun control and bullying. Timothy McVeigh was an American domestic terrorist who carried out the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995, killing 168 people and injuring over 600 others. He was convicted of terrorism and executed by lethal injection in 2001. 
Stephanie St. Clair, also known as Queenie, was an Haitian-American gang leader in Harlem during the Prohibition era. She ran a number of rackets and fought against Italian-American mobsters for control of the city's underworld. Saddam Hussein was an Iraqi politician. He served as the president of Iraq from 1979 until his overthrow by a U.S.-led coalition in 2003. He got accused of human rights abuses and war crimes, including using chemical weapons against Kurdish civilians. He got executed in 2006. Mao Zedong's policies led to numerous human rights cases of abuse, including the execution of political descendants, forced labor, and persecution of ethnic and religious minorities. His great leap forward and cultural revolution campaigns resulted in widespread famine, violence, and displacement. Pol Pot was a Cambodian revolutionary and politician who led to Khmer Rouge regime in 1975 to 1979. His policies caused the deaths of an estimated 1.5 to 2 million people through forced labor, execution, and starvation. Idi Amin was a Ugandan military officer and politician who served as the president of Uganda from 1971 to 1979. He was responsible for numerous human rights cases of abuse, including torture, extrajudicial killing, and the expulsion of Asian Ugandans. Billy the Kid was an American Old West outlaw and gunfighter who gained notoriety for his crimes in the late 1800s. He was involved in multiple murders and robberies, and his legend continues to captivate popular culture today. This series of old photos can be thought-provoking and expose far too many criminals, including politicians, actors, and many more. Kriori Rasputin was a Russian mystic and faith healer who gained influence over the family of Tsar Nicholas II in the early 20th century. He got assassinated in 1916 amid rumors of his alleged involvement in scandals and corruption within the royal court. Brenda Ann Spencer is an American criminal who committed a mass shooting at a school in San Diego in 1979, killing two adults and injuring nine others. Her motivation was reportedly due to her dislike of Mondays. Richard Ramirez, also known as the Night Stalker, was an American serial killer and rapist who terrorized Southern California during the mid-1980s. He got convicted of 13 murders and several other crimes. Jeffrey Dahmer was an American serial killer and sex offender who murdered at least 17 boys and men between 1978 and 1991. He was also known for engaging in acts of necrophilia and cannibalism. Caril Ann Fugate is an American criminal convicted of aiding her boyfriend, Charles Starkweather, in a killing spree that claimed the lives of 11 people in Nebraska during the late 1950s. Al Capone, also known as Scarface, was an American gangster and organized crime boss during the Prohibition era. He rose to power in Chicago during the 1920s, overseeing a vast criminal empire that included bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution. John Dillinger was an American gangster during the Depression era. He was known for his bank robberies and prison escapes, which made him a popular figure among the public. Jesse James was an American outline leader of the James Younger Gang. He gained notoriety for his bank and train robberies and was a controversial figure in popular culture during the late 1800s. Pablo Escobar was a Colombian drug lord and leader of the Medellin Cartel. He became one of the wealthiest and most powerful criminals of the time, responsible for smuggling tons of cocaine into the United States. He was killed in a shootout with authorities in 1993. Ted Bundy was an American serial killer and rapist who confessed to murdering at least 30 women in the 1970s. He was known for his charm and intelligence, which he used to lure his victims. He got executed in 1989. Alice Fisher was a notorious American serial killer in the early 20th century. She has murdered at least five people, including a sister and three of her husbands. She got executed in 1930. Mary Flora Bell is a British woman convicted of killing two young boys in 1968 when she was just 11. Her case is one of the most notorious examples of a child committing murder. Nanny Doss, also known as the Giggling Granny, was an American serial killer who murdered four husbands, her mother, two sisters, two children, and a grandson. She was convicted and sentenced to life in prison in 1955. Rosemary West was a British serial killer who, along with her husband Fred, was responsible for the murders of at least 10 young women and girls. She was convicted and sentenced to life in prison in 1995. 
Adolf Hitler was a German politician and leader of the Nazi party. He was responsible for initiating World War II and orchestrating the Holocaust, in which millions of Jews and other minorities were systematically murdered. He died by suicide in 1945. Joseph Stalin was a Soviet politician and leader who committed numerous crimes against humanity, including mass executions, forced labor camps, and political purges. His policies caused the deaths of millions of people. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to the channel for more such content, and we'll see you next time.